boys and girls, welcome to Steam Train Stories. My name is Miss Barb. I work at the Howard County Library System at the Miller Branch, and this is Mooing Marvin. Moo, moo! And Bert. Ma. Good job. First of all, I want to thank Mary and Stacy for helping me make this video. Okay, today we're going to have fun with counting. We're going to learn the life cycle of a butterfly. And then we're going to make caterpillar marionettes. Do, 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 do. That's pretty cool. And flapping butterflies. Wow. Wow. All right, let's take a look at our steam train. Our steam train has numbers on it. Can you count with me, boys and girls? One, two, three, four, five. And look at all these beautiful butterflies. We're going to place them on the, the train cart. But first, let's count all the butterflies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job! We're looking at our butterflies and we're going to put, we're going to start at the end, the caboose. Which color has five butterflies? I know, I know, I know. Okay, Marvin. Purple. Purple? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. I don't see another purple Aww. one. So we have four purple. Let's go ahead and move that up to the number four. One, two, three, four. Now let's take a look. Which, which color has five butterflies? My turn. Okay, Bert. Green. Green. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. You're right, Bert. Let's move them up to the number five. There we go. All right. Now let's find three butterflies that are all the same color. Does anyone see three that are up here, left on here, that are the same color? How about red? Good, Marvin. One, two, three. All right. What's this number? Bert, do you know what this number is? Uh, two. Yes, Bert. Do you see two butterflies left? Uh, I think it's the pink ones. Good. One. Two. And our last number one. Marvin? The yellow one! The yellow one! Yes! Good job! Now let's count our train one more time. Ready? Together. One, two, three, four, five. Good job! Next, we're going to learn the life cycle of a butterfly. Wow! Yeah! Okay, are we now ready to learn the four stages of a butterfly? The butterfly starts off as an egg on a leaf. And then once that egg hatches, it becomes a caterpillar. That's the larva stage. He, when the caterpillar first comes out of the egg, he gobbles up the eggshell. And then he starts gobbling up leaf after leaf and he keeps eating until he's big and fat. Once he gets really chubby, he's gonna, he's gonna form this protective um, shell around him. It's called a chrysalis, okay? And he's stuck in there and he's making changes and then as soon as he leaves there, he, he um, hatches a beautiful butterfly. So we're gonna do a song to this. Okay, for our song, we're gonna do four different body positions. First, we're going to be the egg, and the egg is you're gonna hug your knees. 
really tight like a ball. That's the egg. The next one is the caterpillar. And you can crawl on the ground or you can stand up and be a caterpillar like Miss Barb. And here's all my legs. Here's my cat caterpillar. Most caterpillars have 16 legs, but we're just gonna pretend, okay? That's my caterpillar. Next, the chrysalis, we're going to, we're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna hold really still because we can't move. We're stuck in the cocoon, the chrysalis, okay? And then next, when we come out, we're gonna be a beautiful butterfly, okay? So let's do it again. Egg, hug your knees, caterpillar, Get your feelies out, the legs out there. Chrysalis. And then butterfly. And in this song, we get to spin too. Spin and spin. And we're gonna go, oh my, oh my, okay? Here we go. We're gonna sing it to the tune of um, Up on the Housetop. So it goes, First comes a butterfly and lays an egg. Everybody down into an egg. Out comes the caterpillar with many legs. To your caterpillar. Oh, see the caterpillar spin and spin. A little chrysalis to sleep in. Close your eyes. Oh, oh, oh. Wait and see, oh, 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 wait and see. Out of the chrysalis, my, oh, my, out comes a beautiful butterfly. Be a butterfly. Let's do it one more time. First comes the butterfly and lays an egg. Be an egg. Out comes the caterpillar with many legs. Oh, see the caterpillar spin and spin. A little chrysalis to sleep in. Be a chrysalis. Oh, 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 wait and see. Oh, 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 wait and see. <laughs> Out of the chrysalis, my, oh my. Out comes a beautiful butterfly. Good job! Okay, now we're gonna sing our song, Five Little Caterpillars. Let's count our caterpillars first. One, two, three, four, five. And the song goes like this. Five little caterpillars sitting on the leaf. One little caterpillar fell fast asleep. He's gonna climb in there and go to sleep. When it woke up, it found it could fly. Now there's four caterpillars and one butterfly. Four little caterpillars sitting on the leaf. One little caterpillar fell fast asleep. When it woke up, it found it could fly. Now there's three caterpillars and two butterflies. Three little caterpillars sitting on the leaf. One little caterpillar fell fast asleep. When it woke up, it found it could fly. Now there's two caterpillars and three butterflies. Good. Two little caterpillars sitting on the leaf. One little caterpillar fell fast asleep. Get in here and go to sleep. No, I'm not tired. <laughs> when it woke up, it found it could fly. Now there's one caterpillar and four butterflies. 
One little caterpillar sitting on the leaf. One little caterpillar fell fast asleep. When it woke up, it found it could fly. Now there's zero caterpillars and five butterfly. Zero caterpillars and five butterflies. Okay, first we're gonna make our caterpillar marionette. What you'll need are some pom-poms, and you can mix it up, and they can be different colors. I'm going to do green and blue. You're going to need some wiggly eyes. I have some wiggly eyes. You're going to need a craft stick, and then you're going to need some string. If you want your, um, if you want it to be invisible, then you'll use fishing line, like Miss Barb's caterpillars were invisible. So she used fish link, but for you guys to see what I'm doing, I'm going to use some yarn today. The first thing you're going to do is I'm using glue, glue gun today because I'm trying to do this and demonstrate it for you quickly. But you can use Elmer's glue, but you're going to have to let it sit there for a long time. So you'll just put a dab of glue and then a pom-pom. And like I said, you can do this with Elmer's glue. Um, but it takes a long time to dry, and Ms. Barb's trying to show you how to build one right now. So we're going to alternate, make a pattern. Green, blue. Green, blue. I'm going to set it down. Green, blue. Okay? Let him sit there. And let's put his eyes on. I'm gonna put some glue. A little bit of glue on the back. And there's his eyes. Okay. Now with your string, oh, you got a little bit of glue stuck on there. There we go. Here's our caterpillar. You're going to take your tape and you're gonna wrap it on the top of your craft string. And then use a piece of clear tape to just tape that on there. And you're going to do two. Take the clear string, wrap it onto the craft stick, and there are your strings. Then you're going to tie one end at his feet down here. And like I said, if you don't want to see the string, you're going to use fishing line. And then you're going to do his head. And he's got some extra glue there, so I'm going to pull it off. And tie it. And tie it. You might have to get an adult to help you do this, especially if you're, you're not allowed to use a glue gun unless your adult's doing it. But like I said, you're going to use Elmer's glue and then let it sit there for a while. And then you have a caterpillar marionette. Okay. Now, if you want to learn how to make the flapping butterfly, the first thing you're going to do is cut out a shape of a butterfly. You can, you can get something off the internet or you can just freehand draw a butterfly, color it in. I'm going to make mine blue and green just like my caterpillar. After you cut, uh, cut it out, after you color it and then cut it out, you're going to fold it in half and you're going to make a little slit inside. Just a tiny one. We just took out a little tiny slit and he's got a hole, okay? Next, you're going to need two straws. One has to fit inside the other. And if it has a little bendy thing, you want to cut it off because it will just get in the way. So just make sure it fits nice and smooth inside. You're going to take the skinny straw first and you're going to cut down the middle just a little bit. Okay? So then when you open it up, you'll have two sides. Okay? 
Then you're going to put it inside your butterfly. Okay, there's two sides and you're going to use your tape and you're going to tape one side and then open it up and take the other flap down that way. And I'm going to put another tape on it just to make sure it's nice and tightly on there. And you want to try to use the tape that's really sticky. So now he's just like this. Now you're going to take your batter straw and you're going to make a big slit, much bigger, like about that far. For the skinny slip, we kind of only just cut it to here, but for the fatter one, you're gonna do a little bit more. Cause then you're gonna put this straw down inside this one and then flap it out like that. And then you're gonna press down, you're gonna put some tape Secure it with tape on both sides, nice and tight. Tape it down, use a couple pieces of tape, then let's try them out. He flaps. And that's how you make your caterpillar marionette and your flapping butterfly.